Hello YouTube, James Yo here, and I'm going to teach you how to permanently root your HTC ReSound from Verizon. So, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube that tells you how to root your ReSound, but in all reality, none of them have permanent root. They are all teaching you how to do the temporary root, so follow these steps to learn how to permanently root your phone. So, step one, you need to get over to this website here, it'll be down in the description. Okay, and once you're there, it should look like this. And on this site, it pretty much tells you everything you're going to need and how to do it. And it's very straightforward and pretty simple to follow. Um, you do need to have, uh, this is just a side note, but you're going to need some sort of extracting program um, WinZip, WinRAR, 7Zip, something. Okay, um, so the first thing you got to do uh, is download Google Android SDK. And click on this link right here you need update you need to update your Java runtime environment and if it if it isn't updated and you need HTC sync okay <clears throat> the other things you're going to need is your HTC resound you're gonna need a computer preferably Windows based you're going to need internet access for the computer you're gonna need a USB cable to connect your resound to the computer and you're gonna need yeah USB cable anyways uh, you're also gonna need on this list, you're going to need this right here. It's the one click root via Nils P at XDA. And there's the link to get it. So get those three, four things, whatever you need. Download those. Uh, get the Android SDK installed, ready to go. Get everything all set. And now that you are set, it wants you to create a folder. Just C Android. So just create a folder inside your C drive, drive called Android and <laughs> C Droid. Anyways, um, once that's done, you have everything set. You're going to have to make sure that you have on your phone settings, applications, development, and you need to make sure USB debugging is checked. I'll highlight that for you really quick. Boom. So make sure you got that going on. Uh, pretty simple. Just need the USB debugging. All right. But the only tricky part about all of this really is you have to create an account at htcdev.com. And that's right there. And it's, it's, it's actually really not that tricky. It's just a little side route thing you have to do. But um, go there, um, create an account, verify it with your email address, and then click this link here after you're done and you have it verified and you're logged in. And once you do that, Get to this page. Okay, I'm not logged in. I just log in fast. Go back to the previous page. This isn't where I want to be. Okay. Step one, there's a bunch of list of instructions. You can look down, there's pictures that show you how to do everything. But I'm just gonna go back to the site because it tells me straightforward. Pull your battery out put it back in okay check hold down your volume button and power until the device powers into bootloader mode um, that modes you know uh, anyways use your volume buttons to select fast boot and press power once it's selected okay so you use the volume up and down to control your way to navigate your way around your phone and then you use the power button to select do that on the word fast boot on your screen and then you connect your resound to your computer with USB cable and this is the only part I really got hung up on I got a little confused on what they were asking me to do but all it's saying is uh, go into your wherever you downloaded your uh, Android SDK your Google Android SDK pack wherever you downloaded that go inside there install the latest updates of these two things the Android SDK platform tools and the Android SDK tools so once you have those updated which shouldn't take very long um, you copy from wherever that folder is uh, that you ran the program you copy from Android SDK platform tools uh, you get adb.exe copy that one copy this one and you also need fastboot.exe so copy those three files from inside that folder 
and then you drag them over to that folder you created on your C drive, C Android. Okay, now that you've copied those in there, you open a command prompt. Pretty straightforward instructions how to do that. All right, and then you type CDC Android. That's what you type into your command prompt, and then uh, it'll it'll navigate to where you have that folder, and it wants you to type this right here <clears throat> and hit enter. And this is to get your unlock code for the website still. So that's where we're at. So once you do that, you're gonna get a, a list of information that tells you what to do. I'm gonna navigate back to the website so I can show you what you're gonna be seeing on your screen here. And you can follow this along instead of following that guide. It's a little uh, more user friendly. <laughs> but anyways, so this is what you're gonna be seeing on your screen is this right here. And it wants you to copy from here to there. And to do that, there's instructions at the top so you copy this message from that point to this point and it you just paste it right here so whatever your message is whatever you have you paste it here and hit submit and once you submit <clears throat> it, you're going to receive an email to your account or to your wherever you signed up for anyways so now um or signed up with so now on your account you download the dop in that you received via email and all you have to do now is follow these steps. You save the dot bin to your Android fo folder. All right, from the command prompt, you still have open. Type fastboot flash unlock token unlock underscore code dot bin. So this is what you're gonna have to type into your command prompt after you've downloaded the bin and you threw the bin inside of your Android C slash Android folder you just type that command into your command prompt while it's still open from where you were otherwise you have to repeat the steps uh, CD C Android to get to the folder and then you type this <clears throat> no big deal anyways then you do that and your phone screen will prompt you to ask if you wish to unlock the bootloader, press volume up, and the power to accept. As soon as you press power, your phone will be reset to factory default. So that's a side note. Make sure you have everything uh, backed up on Backup Assistant and all that jazz. Otherwise, you're going to be looking at an empty phone. Uh, but everything on your SD card will be fine, so whatever. <clears throat> Anyways, so now your phone's unlocked, right? Now what you got to do is very very simple once your phone boots back up make sure you go to settings applications development and then enable USB debugging and once that's enabled connect your phone to your computer which is probably already still connected because I doubt you removed it um, double click the one click root dot bat and it could be anywhere on your uh, hard drive I don't know where you download things but you just click that wait a little bit and eventually it should say congrats you are now perm rooted press any key to continue click it your phone's going to restart one more time you're rooted for life <laughs>